Hi everybody, Lemkin here, your friendly neighborhood law player. Today we're going to be talking about movement cancelling, and specifically I'm going to be talking about the sidestep cancelling that a lot of people have uh, been asking me about recently. How, how do I sidestep so fast? Well, the, and I assume that this is what people mean when they ask me that. So I'm going to talk about specifically that today. Uh, there'll be time uh, stamps down below. I'll be talking a little bit about movement cancelling in general, then I'm going to show you the sidestep cancelling. I'm going to explain uh, how I do it and why I do it, what, what are the utilities of it, what is the purpose of, of it. So yeah, uh, let's uh, just uh, get right into it. So Tekken is one of those fighting games where you can actually cancel any sort of movement into another movement. Uh, for example, you can. Uh, this is just a regular sidestep here, but you can cancel a sidestep into backdash, you can ca cancel it into a forward dash, you can cancel a backdash into a forward dash or reverse, uh, you can uh, cancel a forward dash into a backdash or a block, like this. You can uh, cancel a backdash into another backdash, that's, that's how the Korean backdash works, just like this. Now if you want to guide uh, specifically on Korean backdashing, uh, there's a couple great ones out there. I know Speed Kicks has uh, done a really good one, VDX uh, has a couple good ones. Uh, that goes through like uh, backdashing for every controller. I know Anakin has a good one specifically for people who play on a PlayStation pad. So go and check those out if you want to look for guys for Korean backdashing. Although I think you could make a case that Korean backdashing is, is not uh, necessarily uh, that important in this game uh, as opposed to just uh, spamming backdash. Um, but today, most importantly, we're going to be talking about the sidestep cancel here. So. Um, the, the sidestep cancel that I usually do, it, it, if you look at my input here, it kind of closely resembles the Korean backdash in a way that you just uh, you cancel your uh, either your forward input or your back input. It works either way in, into uh, uh, another backdash basically. Um, and this is a fa this is a, uh, first of all a faster way of backdashing and getting around the opponent. Um, and I'm I'm going to show you some comparisons in a second. Um, illustrating that, uh, but also it, it works similar to the Korean backdash in the way that if you do a perfect Korean backdash, you are actually, if you notice my input, you're actually blocking for about uh, uh, three frames. Uh, three is the the, the minimum, um, meaning that if, for example, if someone is chasing you down with a wave uh, character and they're hell sweeping you, you actually have a, a small chance of accidentally blocking their hell sweep uh, or whatever low. Uh, for for like three to four frames when when you're doing uh, the Korean backdash, and similarly if if you use your sidestep cancel like this, you're actually uh, as opposed to just spamming uh, the side steps. Did I say backdash? I meant sidestep. As opposed to just spamming sidestep like this, you're not blocking at all. But when I'm I'm doing it like this, I'm actually blocking for for a couple frames, as you can see. And I, I can easily cancel my uh, my sidestep into a block. Um, whereas if you're if you're sidewalking and just uh, sidestepping by by uh, like mashing it here, you you will not be blocking at all. And again, this this is also potentially a faster way of stepping than just uh, sidewalking or or spamming. And I'll uh, let me show you in a second. Um, but this this is also dependent on on your timing. Uh, as, as the same thing with the Korean backdash is that if you do it too fast, you 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 don't really get anywhere. This this is not faster than than just spamming uh, like this or sidewalking. So there there is there is a sweet spot where you, you cancel the sidestep animation at the at the correct point, like pretty much towards the end of the animation, and it makes it a lot faster. Than just uh, sidestepping in the conventional way. So this is the, one of the reasons I do this because it's it's faster, or at least potentially faster. But also a, a reason I like to do this. I, I usually do this a lot at mid mid range, because I I like to bait people uh, into into pressing, and a lot of people they will they will visually confirm your movement uh, at at mid range to try and whiff punish you. Or uh, something like that, right? Especially if people they're like in range at a clutch situation, and they're trying to like visually confirm your movement to do a rage art. You do this a couple times uh, in their face, and there's a good ch chance they're gonna press. Also, this is a really good uh, fast way to try and get away from the wall. If you watch my gameplay, 
uh, you will you will typically see me do this when I have my back against a wall. I'll I'll, I'll try and, and use this technique to to like quickly reposition myself away from the wall, and uh, I will also use it offensively to try and pin my opponent uh, with their back against a wall. So that that are, that's basically the utilities of uh, this uh, sidestep cancel right here. So uh, in a second, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Uh, but first of all, let me show you uh, comparison clips uh, uh, to see how, how fast it actually is compared to uh, other more conventional methods. Now this technique, it works uh, on all controllers as far as I know, although I haven't tested it personally on other controllers. I know that it's possible, I've seen other people do it, uh, but we're going to be showing it on a, a PlayStation pad today. And and this technique, it works kind of similarly, similarly to the fact that you can, instead of pressing uh, 4 and then 3 to get the Shaolin spin kick like this, like press press, you can just actually take your thumb and just slide it across the buttons real quick, like this, you see? and you'll get the desired input. And this works kind of the same way with this sidestep cancel, where you can just take your... So let's let's do a sidestep left here, okay? Uh, you, you could do it either by sliding your thumb from uh, back to up, like this. You see? Just sliding them across both of them. You can see the input on my command history. I'm just sliding it across like that. Uh, or you can do it sliding from forward to up as well, like that, you see? So just practicing sliding real quick your finger uh, from forward to up or from back to up, doesn't matter either way, preferably on player one side, you want to go back up like this uh, to get the uh, block for, uh, you get one flame of, frame of block here, you can see in my input, and on player two side, preferably you want to do uh, it the other way around here, so now this is the, the block right here, right? Although it doesn't, it doesn't really matter too much in the end. Um, so yeah, just practice doing this and this, and get a get a smooth input. You you want to get the uh, if you look at my command history, you want to get back uh, and then uh, back up, back and then up, or forward and then up, forward and then up. Very clean like this. You see, and then just do it like this. One. Two, three, four. It's quite easy to do once you get a hang of it, at least. Try keeping your finger light on the. Don't don't press and mash, and then you will probably get the. Again, if you're too slow, you might you might get a forward uh, like walk and then a uh, a jump. You you got to be pretty fast with it, like this. And that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just doing it real fast, like this. But uh, don't don't do it too fast because you you, you won't really get far. You want to practice the 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 timing. Uh, there is a sweet spot. It's hard to explain, but you will you will get it once you once you try it, right? Like this, and then the other side, of course, just like that. forward to down and back down back up forward up just like that so that's basically how you do it all right i hope that helps you out and thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions feel free to uh, let me know down in the comment section if you have uh, suggestions for other videos i haven't done yet uh, before you you ask though, maybe go ch check my playlist. I have a lot of uh, guys uh, there nowadays, so maybe I've uh, already done what you're looking for. Uh, go give that a uh, go check that out for sure. Uh, and other than that, yeah, I hope you found the video informative and uh, useful, and uh, hope it will help you in improve your gameplay and make you a better Tekken player long term. 
So yeah, I guess there's uh, not, not, not much more left to say than uh, yeah, have a good one. I'll see you soon.